Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I've got you a power yoga sequence for weight loss. It's a total body workout working on strength, endurance, and you're going to sweat and feel good by the end of it. And all you need is a mat and a pair of light dumbbells. But if you don't have dumbbells at home, you can use two water bottles, which works just the same. And let's have some fun, focus on your breath and find what feels good. And once you're ready, let's get started. Let's come to the all fours position on your hands and your knees. Legs separated to your hip distance apart. Getting into a nice deep cat and cow stretch. Inhaling arch your spine. Exhale to round. Continue on this beautiful spinal articulation. And just to warm up your lower back, your mid back, your upper back, your core. And relaxing the stretch, going in for pelvic circles. Imagine you're drawing nice big circles with your glutes and your hips. And getting to the child's resting pose. Relaxing your butt down to your legs, extending your arms in front. You're spending a few moments to just breathe and stretching the upper body. Gazing forward to come up. Extending your left leg out and staying on the balls of your feet. Rock yourselves back and forth. Getting in a nice deep stretch on your hamstrings, your calf. Placing the leg a little bit out of the body. Now grab the dumbbell or you can do it without dumbbells. I want you to open up your left arm, open up for a nice rotation stretch. Look up to sky. Let's begin with some thread in the needle. You're going to thread your hand with the dumbbell under your right side and open up the arm. Let's go down and up. Connecting this move with breathing here, you're going to exhale all the way down to thread. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread. Wonderful core work. Now let's switch to the other side, extending your right leg this time. Rocking our body back and forth for hamstring and calf. And placing the leg out of the body, foot down to the ground. Grabbing the tumble and opening for a nice rotation stretch. Hold. And let's begin to thread your right hand under your left side. Open out. Exhale, thread. Inhale, open. Try to keep your abs pulled into your spine. That way we're engaging the trunk and getting the work that we need. Wonderful work everyone. Let's drop the weight down and get to a nice modified plank. Move your knees back and incline your body down a bit. And that way your back is straight from head to knees. 
and as we stay here on the plank we're getting into a nice chaturanga push-up all the way down chest goes in between the gateway of your hands engage that core when you go down exhale when you come up inhale exhale down inhale with all your arm strength up at this time flex both your foot underneath send your glutes back to the child's resting pose and moving forward to the plank hip sways sending back moving forward again connect with breathing and pull your abs in suck it into your spine let's get to the prone lying position tummy down to the mat grab one or both the dumbbells if that feels convenient for you and place it right in front of your chest hold the bubble ends feet together you're going to try and lift your chest and your legs off the mat and down the head is always down and breathe through this inhale up exhale with your mouth down and now this is where it's going to get serious you can lift your legs up lift your upper body extend your arms out with a dumbbell and hold Let's breathe. Breathe as you stay here. I hope you felt that burn. Let's place both the hands right next to the chest and reaching the body nice and straight up for an upward facing dog. Look up. This time reaching for the downward facing dog. Curl the toes underneath. Sending the glutes back to up. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Trying to press the upper body towards the lower in tiny little rocking pulses. Let's continue the moves over here. We are going to try and reach the hand to the opposite leg. Tap. If you're not able to tap, just try aim to reach. That's good. A beautiful shoulder work. Great marches for the arms. Wonderful toning. Good one, everybody. Still holding to the downward facing dog. We're getting into the dolphin push ups. Bending both your elbows, staying here as we try to push our body down to ground. Amazing toning on the upper body, the arms. Keep going, three more of it. Good job. Let's get the feet together, lifting for the three leg dog and bringing the leg in between the arms. Big giant leap forward. Get comfortable and grab your weights. Coming up on the kneeling lunge. Weights held right in front of your chest. You're going to try and press the weights right above the head. Up and down. Keep breathing through this. Make sure the elbows are tucked in. Don't flare it out. And this time we lunge to the front leg, hinge your body in front, maintain a nice straight back, getting into tricep extensions. 
swinging your hands right back. And relax back up. And let's drop the weights down. And try to lift the back leg now. Let's work some legs. Dipping it down and up for lunge dips. Two more. Okay, down to the mat, placing the knee down and grabbing the leg if you can with your opposite arm. If you're not able to, you can get hold of your pant or your heel, wherever that you can reach to. Now let's come back and sit on the back leg, extending the front leg with a flexion. And relax. Get to the child's resting pose, restoring here for a few seconds before we shift sides. Slowly sending the gaze forward and scooching yourselves up for the downward facing dog once again. And this time you're going to try and march the legs out, lifting the heels, alternating the legs left and right. And staying static, switching to the dolphin push-ups. Bend both your elbows. Last set on the push-ups here. Down and up. Keep breathing through this. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Good work, everyone. Let's get the feet together. Sending the other leg up for the three-leg down with facing dog. Big giant leap forward, placing the leg in between the gateway of your hands, dropping the back knee down. And returning back to the midline, you're going to grab the dumbbells from here, going in for dumbbell press all the way up and down. Breathe into this, keep the core super tight and pulled in. Now lean forward to the front leg and tricep extensions. Rub the elbows into your body. And let's drop the dumbbells down and shift the body weight and let's lift the back knee off the mat dropping in for legs this time down and up for lunge dips and relax okay let's bring both the knees back this time going in for a full plank. Let's go all the way to engage core. Legs together this time. I'm going to try and pull one knee at a time inside. Mountain climbers, engage your core. Keep breathing through this. Focus on breath. Three more. Two. And one. Very good. This time, we're going to go in for the downward facing dog. Staying here to relax and getting the breath back. <sighs> Breathe. 
Now we're going to hop forward into the child in the womb and jump back to the downward facing dog. Make sure your jump is calculated. If you feel jumping is hard, you can just step instead of hopping and jumping. Anything works. Pick your intensity. And one last one. Wonderful work, everyone. Let's get to the child's resting pose. Knees down, send your glutes down to the legs. Extend your arms in front and drop the forehead down. And restore here as you get your breath back. And slowly coming out of the child's pose straight to the puppy dog elbows down chin up arch your back head down head up down and up for a nice neck mobility and stretch Let's come to Bajrasin. Grab your weights and let's get into some upper body toning. Elbows bent, chest press, open and close. Breathe as we open, exhale, <sighs> inhale to close. Wonderful work for your chest, your upper body, your upper back. And definitely for the arms and this time prayer pulses let's glue the elbows together palms together lifting up and down with the weights resting for a few seconds and this time we are going to go in for forward punches to bicep curls forward raise bicep curl and drop down Dropping the weights down, going in for wrist rotations, flurry hand rotations here. Taking both your hands right above your head, get hold of your elbows and move into one side. Hold for tricep and switch. Now take both your hands behind, flex your wrist and go in for pulses backwards. Simhasin or the lion's pose. Dropping both your hands in front, arching your back and gazing up to the sky. Close your eyes and stay here. Breathe. Balasan or the child's resting pose. Tuck both your hands under, palms facing up, forehead down. And you have made it to the last leg of today's class. We're going to come down to back flat on the mat. I'm going to finish with some ab and core workout. Grab your weights. And let's place it right in front of your chest. Going in for toe taps, going onto the toes. Imprint your spine. And let's go to march the legs out. 
Make sure the back is kept flat to the ground. Engage your core. Push your abs down to your spine. And this time you're going to go in for dead bugs. You're going to try and lift opposite arm and leg. The arms go above the head and the legs go on the march. And it's good to maintain opposite sides for core stability. An amazing ab and core strengthening move here. Let's do it nice and slow. Work the form. Engage your core. Back is flat to the ground. And breathe. Let's go, this time lifting both your legs up to sky. Flex your foot underneath. Let the weights remain wherever it is. We're going to try and work on a lower body crunches here. Lower abs. Lifting the legs to hop up and drop down. Make sure the jump is kept nice and soft. Don't thrust too much. And releasing your legs down to the ground abdominal crunches with the weights spread your legs out taking your hands above your head bend your elbows and that way you're not straining your shoulders and crunch in between the legs exhale to up inhale to down exhale to crunch inhale to down relax your shoulders chin up Let's go three more of this. And one last final move for the class today. We're going to get into cool down after this. Placing both the weights right on your hips like this. Lift your heels off the ground. Bring your legs closer towards you. And thrust your hips up for the pelvic bridge hold. Stay as you press the weights down to gravity and breathe through this. Chin is kept up. Let's continue on pelvic bridge dips. Dipping for hips down and up. Take it at your own speed. Close your eyes and feel the burn that's built up on the legs, the glutes, the thighs. It's so good for strengthening, toning, all the good things. Keep going. Three more of this. And relax back down. I hope you felt that burn on your clothes and everything lower body. Let's get into the last and sealant pose to Setu Bandhasana. Interlock your fingers and shoot your hand straight down your spine. Lifting your glutes up. Push your chest out. And hold to breathe. Apanasana or the knee to chest pose. Lifting both your legs, bringing your knees in closer to your chest and hug your legs with your hands if you can. Now lift your head up and hold. Dropping down. Your feet comes together, your knees apart. Get hold of your ankles and bring your legs in closer towards you. Open your legs out for Ananda Balasan or Happy Baby. Dropping the knees further down if you can. And swaying your body side to side. 
passively massaging for your lower back. Dropping the legs down, this time getting into Sipta Baddha Konasin or the cobbler's pose. Feet together, knees apart. Flapping the knees out for deeper stretch on your inner thighs. Supta Madhyandrasin, legs drop down to one side of the body. Extend your other arm and gaze towards the other side. And whenever you're ready, switch sides. And release the pose and quickly hop onto a seated position on the mat. And let's finish with some neck stretches and release for your upper back. Come to Padmasin. Sit straight and extend both your hands out of you like so. Dropping ear to shoulder, you're going to hold on to one side. And from here, we're going to lift the head up and head down. Up and down for mobility and release. And switch to the other side as you drop your to shoulder, hold. And from your head up and head down. Very slowly to release. And hands come onto your hips like so. Push your elbows back, push your chest out and drop your chin down to chest. Chin up, close your lips and look up to ceiling. Taking both your hands right above your head and turning to look back for Mathyendrasan back stretch. Lifting both your hands up as we switch to the other side. And taking both hands back to midline, this time sliding one of your hands down to side, stretching the other side, hold. And switch. One last final stretch and bow down to respect our practice on the mat today. Taking both your hands right above your head on Namaste and bringing your hands down to heart center. Taking a big bow down to the mat for the time and energy that's spent on this beautiful full body energizing workout. And I hope that you broke good sweat and that you're feeling good. If you like this video, do thumbs it up and leave me your thoughts in the comments below. And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. Until next time, Namaste.